Lindy out of Florida. Lindy, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi, Jesse. Hey, Lindy. All is well. Great. I'm glad to hear it. Speak Um, up a little bit for me. Oh, I said great. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. Um, So I was calling. Well, I have two things. Firstly, I just want to say, like, I was very touched by um, the segment the other day with the um, National Association of Black Journalists and Trump. I was so touched because I really believe that was like the father's love um, when Trump was responding like that. Yeah. Um, that kind of correction can bring like light to people. And I was just so touched by that, you know? Absolutely. Um, there was no hate. There was Trump. no hate. There was no anger. Yeah. It was just like very direct. And um, if she listens to that, she can like actually change and understand that she, um, you know, she's her behavior is erratic and disrespectful. And so I was so blessed by that. And I yeah. love that you brought that out of the, um, I brought that out of the, what you noticed there. Yeah. <laughs> You're right about that. It was, uh, he would deal with dealing with pure evil in that black female from the black journalist thing. And he dealt yeah. with it. He dealt with the darkness with light. And, yeah. and, and, and you're right. If, in, if she has anything in her that says she wants to overcome her hell, that's a chance to do it. So he told, he showed her a father's love for sure. A hundred percent. I was so touched. Yeah. Um, and then the second thing is, I, well, I have called in before, and you had asked me if if I had if I still had anger, you know, and I was like, no. And you were like, are you lying? And I was like, no. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I was lying, and I wanted to confess that to you because, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful or a liar, you know, because I know liars. Liars are going to hell, you know, <laughs> and <laughs> so, you know, and I thought it would be especially wrong to lie to someone who asked me, are you lying? You know, so. Um, Why did you say I you mean, did not have anger when you knew you had it or have it? Because I was afraid. Of what? Like maybe I didn't believe that I didn't have anger. So then if I didn't believe that I, that I didn't have anger, then, um, you know, like I thought if I believe I don't have anger, then I don't have anger. But I found out later, you know, through meditation and time that at that specific point in my life, I was extremely angry and resentful. and I didn't even know it, you know? So, I was very angry at that time because I I thought someone had stolen something from me. And I mean stolen, not something physical, something um, like some part of my identity, some part of my pride or ego or whatever, something I valued very much. I thought someone had stolen my purity and my integrity from me. And... <laughs> Well, if I have anger and unforgiveness, I didn't have it in the first place, you know? Yeah. So. That's right. You know. <laughs> so you thought yeah. they had stolen it. Had they stolen it? I didn't have it. I mean, it was a, just an imagination. <laughs> what? No. You know, that I had it. <laughs> so, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, and so are you, are you doing the silent prayer? I tried it yesterday. I I mean, you you advised me to do it every day, but one day I did it, and I was really I got super super deep into like this very clear space. Like it's like I was closing my eyes and like everything was totally like blank, and I, so blank that I was like, oh my goodness, it's really really blank and all 
I, it's like I looked down and I heard a voice super loud and clear say, I am Satan. And I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I couldn't handle it, uh, honestly, because I kind of thought it was my voice and I was so scared. I couldn't handle doing it anymore. And then I'm like, oh, is this some kind of like meditation, like Buddhism? And I I was like, no, I, I don't think I can do it, you know? So you, you're not doing the silent prayer? I tried it yesterday again because I started watching your show again. Um, and I, I tried it again, but I don't know. Am I supposed to do it all day or am I supposed to just sit down and do it once or twice? So you're not, are you doing a silent prayer? Mm, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know because I did it one time. Does that count as doing it? Nope. I'm going to say, okay, then no, I'm not doing the silent prayer. So you're not ready to overcome your hell that you live in? That's inside of you? I think I am. I think I'm ready. Why do you think you're ready? Because um, I don't know. I guess maybe I'm not ready. Why do you think you're I not? I would ready? like to be ready. <laughs> Why do you think you'd like because, to be ready? Well, the reason I think that I'm, I'd like to be ready is because. I I want to overcome hell, you know? <laughs> so like I want to, you know. And then the reason that I don't didn't think I was ready is because I thought maybe I wasn't like mm, maybe I'm too I'm kind of attached to like thinking that I should be like very emotional before I start overcoming hell. Like somehow like I had to be like angry at hell or like emotional about the fact, Oh, I can't take it anymore. I can't bear it. You know, like I thought I had to be screaming and crying in order to like, are you overcome it? <laughs> have you forgiven your mother? Mm, I went to her and I, I don't know because I went to her and I told her, I'm sorry for resenting you. And I meant it, you know? And then we met again very shortly after that. And um, I, she said something like she did something that kind of made me upset. And I felt like I kind of failed the test, you know? Let me say it because and I, that was a, let me say this because I got to run because of time. You can, it's yeah. up to you, Lindy. You can stay in your hell or you can come out of hell and live paradise right here on earth. You can be at peace. You can have perfect peace on earth. But you got to make up your mind as if you want to come out of your hell or not. And if you want to come out of your hell, you got to let go. Do the side of the prayer, let go and let the light bring you out of the darkness of your imagination. But if you're not ready, just stay in your hell and suffer. Okay. C can I ask you one more brief question? Yes. It might just be like a quick one. Okay. What do you think about having a relationship with Christ? Like, you know, talking to him, like that kind of thing. What do you think about that? What? Should we have a a relationship, you know, like you would have with your friend or your husband or your father? No. With Christ or with... You, okay. You, how are you going to have a relationship with Christ? That doesn't make sense. What does that even in mean? Spirit? Like in the spirit, you know? How like can you have a relationship with Christ? The peace of God. What? Like by experiencing his comfort and peace. Who is Christ? And the Son of God. How do you know that? Because I believe that he's the Son of God. Why do you I believe that? Because, well, 
Why do I believe that? Hmm. I guess it's just because he's because he's the truth. I don't know. Like I guess. How old are you? I'm 23. Oh, okay. So why do you believe that? Can you hold for me? That I'm 23. No, oh, that, yeah, yeah. that this relationship with Christ that you talk about. Yeah. Hold on one minute, okay? Okay. Let me go quickly back to Lindy out of Florida. So, Lindy, ask me the question again. Repeat your question about Jesus and your relationship. Yeah, so I was, I was wondering if you can have a relationship or what you think about having a relationship with Christ. I don't know what that means. Right. <laughs> and I <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I was talking about like, you know, like a friendship or like a fellowship, a fellowship with Christ. What made you ask that? Um, because I would like to have a friendship and fellowship with Christ. Why? And I was wondering... Because I guess I I kind of don't want to just be with myself, you know? Oh, okay. So you want to know your brother, Jesus Christ. You want to know him? Yeah, I want, want to know Christ. Okay. Here's what I recommend. Do what you want. But I hear what I recommend. Let go all of your ideas and your thoughts about Christ. Let them all go. Everything you've been taught about him, every idea you built up about him, let it go. Do the silent prayer and watch. And then you will come to know Christ. You will come to know him. Because everyone that has an idea about him don't know him. The idea is just an idea. And you want to come to know your brother. And all the way you're going to know your brother, you got to be cleared of all ideas about him. Everything you've been taught, everything you've held on to, all your ideas is keeping you away from knowing Christ. So relax, do the silent prayer, commit to it. And watch those thoughts. Okay. And you will know him. And it will be amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> and you will have more than an idea because ideas are just ideas. They're just empty thoughts. And they don't work. Right. So do the silent prayer and watch. Watch those thoughts. Don't do anything about them, but watch them. Don't call them you. Don't overreact to them. Don't uh, do any, Don't call them good or bad. Just watch them. Okay. And you're going to see that you're not your thoughts. All thoughts and all ideas are just thoughts and ideas with no meaning. Right. All right? Okay. I'm sorry? I appreciate it. All right, so are you going and, to... Yeah. And what? Oh, I was going to answer your question about how Christ is the Son of God, if it's still relevant. The question what? You asked me how I know Christ is the Son of God. Right. I am... What I believe is... I know He's the Son of God because of His character and because of his love and his perfect love. You know, that's, that's how I know. And how do you know that? How do you know he has perfect love? Because he, he gave up his whole life. He was never selfish and he never cared what people thought about him. He just cared about loving others more than about, you know, um, pleasing others. Oh, okay. You care about true love. That, well, that's, that's why I think you. Well, I want I want to encourage you. Do what you want, but 
do the silent prayer and watch those thoughts. And, and you'll come to know, you'll know the Father, you will know the Son, and you will know the Holy Spirit. It's going to be amazing. But you got to stick with it. All right. Amazing. That it? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Call me again, Lindy. All right. I wish you well. You. I wish you well, too. Thank you. All right. Bye God now. All right. 